reached out to young students, young designers, because um, we want to show them what you can do with our materials, how you design for our materials, and also other way around, we wanted to learn from them how would they like to see an urban environment in the future? How, what ideas do they have, what, what we cannot think about? So we are working with this uh, material called Makrelon, which is a super uh, good material when you're working with an antenna, which are supposed to send out uh, a signal so that this signal can pass through the material without disturbing it. For uh, this particular uh, project, uh, we, we're working with this uh, 5G antenna that of course has to send out uh, the, the 5G network. It's really important that we don't block the communication or, or the actual radiation that it sends out. We want to keep all the key aspects of 5G uh, while still designing this uh, product. Well, it's been motivating because when we went into this project, we started off with, okay, we're just designing an antenna. Uh, and then you start to look into all the different challenges with it and uh, how to put it into use. And uh, when you talk to the rest of the students, everyone has such different with visions of what it could be and you never expected that. So it's really fun to see what everyone comes up with. Especially in such an environment where other people are very uh, aware and can see everything and it's very out there, I think it's important to um, put in design so it can really change the expression of the thing that you're doing or the thing that you're showing, um, not to intimidate people or to actually make it fit into the environment that it actually is in. It was a, a great journey, a great adventure, especially for me. Me as a physicist, being engaged with students, getting a completely different perspective onto um, topics such as 5G and getting asked questions which I would have never believed uh, um, I would be asked for. Um, so I remember uh, when I got an email from one of the students sending me uh, a first draft and uh, it was a bird and I did not really know what she was actually asking me um, and what this bird should be. And uh, eventually, today, we have the uh, bird um, being, on, uh, being one of the, the, the exhibits that we have selected because it was such a, an, uh, an idea outside the box that is really um, showing how you can engage trustworthy with 5G. Yeah, I, I believe it's a great opportunity for us as students because uh, it, it's really the, the most realistic uh, type of class or, or a thing you can do in school to actually get a large company like that. And, and having them being very motivated and, and curious of what we do is uh, a huge inspiration. Uh, so it, it's super fun and uh, I think we're really lucky to be able to collaborate uh, or collaborate with such large uh, companies. Mm -hmm.